Welcome, Mike McMillan here from my Info Product Earnings channel. And today what I want to do is, in this video, talk about syncing your audio and video files for the videos that you create. And what I want to do is talk about what syncing is, what it means, and the best way to do that for YouTube videos. Okay, so um, this is kind of interesting. It's actually very easy, pretty easy to do. So first let's, let's discuss what is syncing and why it's important, why we have to do that sometimes, okay? Now there are times when syncing is not gonna be an issue. For example, if you have a DSLR mic uh, or camera and you've got say a shotgun mic hooked up to it, so the sound is going from that microphone directly, plugged directly into your camera, your audio and video is always gonna be synced up, okay? And um, if you have a USB type mic, like a Yeti or a Blue Snowball mic or something like that, where it's plugged into your computer and you're doing like a screencast or something, um, everything's you know gonna be synced up, it's gonna work right. But in some cases, in many cases, um, it depends on how you record your audio and video, um, it may not be synced. And let me show you what I mean. Hey, this is Mike, just 10 seconds. Look, if you're interested in having higher rankings for your videos in the YouTube search function and having your video show up as suggested videos next to popular videos in your niche, then get my free 24-page ebook and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, just click on the link in the description below this video. Today, I have a camera. I've got a tripod set up. It's about four feet away and I'm capturing the video and I'm also capturing the sound but um, the sound in any, whether it's a smartphone, a DSLR camera, um, a camcorder, um, any devices like that, even if they can get great video, the audio in those devices uh, is not going to be perfect and it's not going to be real close to perfect. So what, what happens a lot of times, in, and in my case, what I'm doing I have this thing, it's called a Zoom H4N Pro. And this is a remote, um, a standalone audio recording device. And a lot of people use these because you get better audio recordings with your videos with a device like this, okay? And what happens is I've plugged, I have a lavalier mic. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's right here, it's hooked onto my shirt. Then there's a long cable cord and it plugs into the back of this H4N Pro uh, recording device. And I'm recording the audio as I speak right now. This is capturing the audio. And so is my camera over here, okay? And, <clears throat> excuse me, and so that's, that's what I'm doing. Now, uh, by the way, these lavalier mics cost 10, 12, 15 bucks, something like that, and they can be hooked up to almost anything. One tip I'm going to give you, I'm just going to show you behind the scenes, <laughs> look at this. This has a 10 foot cord on it. And from using these for years, I can tell you that even if you're careful and try to wind it up around your hand or something when you're done, um, it can take a long, long time to <laughs> untangle these cords like this. So what I use, I just use a, this is a paper towel roll. And I wrap most of the cord up on here and I've got it taped on there so that um, when I want to use this I just pull this tube out and there's a short piece here and then there's a short piece that goes from uh, the tube up and I attach it to myself and I never have the untangling problem. Trust me if you've used a lav mic with uh, a long cord it can be a problem. And I've got two of these, one for when I sit down and I use this. And then I have another one when I'm standing up against a background that I can't code up or core up on a, on a tube like this because it just is, uh, it's, I need the length to be able to walk around and move around. Anyway, that's how I'm recording. Now, when I get done with this, when I get done shooting my video, I'm gonna go over and turn my video camera off and then I'm going to turn the 
audio recording device off, or I could do it the other way around. It doesn't matter, but I'll turn both those off. But the key is, for example, when I started, I turned my camera on and it had been running 30, 45 seconds before I turned the audio recorder on. So see, what's gonna happen is the sound and the video are not gonna be synced up. The, the video is gonna be playing like 45 seconds ahead of the audio. And that's what I mean by syncing up. We have to sync up. If you use an audio recording device like this, or there are many other brands and styles, devices like this. So how do you take care of that? How do you sync that up? Well, historically and very quickly, I, I just want to show you, you've seen these things in movies when they shoot movies and the director's out there and he'll say action. Okay, and somebody on the set will have one of these. It's called a clapper board, a clapboard. Generally, they just call it, they call it a slate. They used to make these out of slate and write on them with white chalk. Um, today, you can use markers and things. But the idea is, as soon as the video, um, as soon as you start shooting the video, you can clap this and it makes a sound. And then you can write like the scene, the take, the role, all this info you can put on there. And in a Hollywood type film, what they would do then is use this sound, this sound right here when they start. And he says action. Okay, they use that sound and I'll show you exactly how that works. Um, but the idea is that sound allows you to sync the audio and the video because I can watch this and see when this hits, that tells me that, okay, that's when the video is starting and the sound takes place at exactly the same time when this hits. So um, you can use this to sync it up and I'll show you how that works in just a second. Now, don't worry, we're not gonna use a slate uh, to do um, videos for YouTube. And the reason is a big Hollywood movie, they might be shooting with two, three, four cameras where one's over here, one's over here, one's up here, one's on a dolly roll and it's zooming in. And, and they have to slate each one of those cameras so that the editors, the directors, people later on can get the audio and the video synced up. And um, it, it, they need something like the slate device to uh, take care of it. But here today, as soon as I got my video rolling and I got my audio going, the first thing I did before I started talking is I did this. I clapped my hands three or four times, okay? And I'm gonna show you right now in just a second why I clap my hands. And by, by clapping your hands, it allows you to easily sync up the audio and video for a YouTube you know, production that you may be making at home. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do a bunch of guesswork um, in your editing software. So when I get started, three or four claps, it's captured on my video, it's captured on the sound, will show peaks on my audio uh, recording device. And so what I'd like to do now is just show you how that works. So I'm gonna go into my Mac. I'm using ScreenFlow to edit, but it doesn't matter. You could be doing you know, Adobe Premiere Pro or, or uh, uh, Camtasia or any kind of you know, video editing equipment you use. You can use the same technique on. So let's take a look on my computer right now, okay? Okay, so what I've done here is I'm on my Mac and as I said, I use ScreenFlow to edit my videos with. If you use Camtasia, Adobe Premiere Pro, you know, whatever you use, um, the syncing process will be the same. Um, so what I've got right here is this is the video that I shot. Okay, here's the video clip that I shot right up here. And I just dragged it down into my timeline and there it is. You can see what is syncing and why it's important. Okay, so there's the video clip that I shot. Um, and the sound, I can tell, I don't know how it sounds from your end, but I can tell the sound is a little echoey or, you know, it's not perfect. Um, so my video camera picks up decent sound, but not great sound. So anyway, here is the uh, audio that I recorded from my H4N Pro. And I'll drag that down below here and move it over. And um, actually, what I would like to do is I'm going to move this down one more uh, notch in my timeline, okay? And um, just just to show you, I'll turn the sound off on the video, okay? So the only sound you'll hear now is the sound that came from my H4N Pro 
uh, recording device, and that's down here. Um, a standalone audio recording device, and a lot of people use these. Because okay, that's the sound. Now, you may have noticed the problem I have is my video better audio and my sound do not go together. <laughs> They're at different places, and that's because I started my camera first. So what I need to do is I'm going to come up here. Now, the process is different in different softwares, but in any kind of decent video editing software, you'll be able to do this. And I come up to Edit. First, I highlight my video clip right here. And turn the sound back on. I highlight my video clip. Then I come up to Edit, and I come down to Detach Audio. And what that does is it takes this video clip that I shot, okay, right here, and it separates the video from the audio. This audio goes with this video. This audio is from my H4N Pro. Now, let me come down here and what I'm going to do when I move this over, it just broadens this out. It makes it makes everything wider. Okay. So um, what I have right now, see down here, let me turn the sound off that I got in my video. See right down here these four peaks? I don't know how well they show up. There are four peaks there, and that is what? That's when I clapped my hands in the beginning. Now listen. Okay, that's when I clapped my hands. So what I need to do now is come up. Let me turn the audio back on up here. What I need to do now to sync this up, I'm going to look for where I clapped my hands in my video recording. Okay, it would be at the same same point in the video and you can see right here let me turn the sound off on my H4N Pro that track and come back up here and listen see right here okay so um, what I need to do now is to sync this up I need to take my audio file which is right here okay and I'll turn that back on and I need to drag this is from my H4N Pro right here. And what I need to do is drag this back over so that the hand claps from my video in this line and my audio from my H4N Pro so that these line up. Now this is not going to be perfect, but let's just listen to this. See, they're still not quite synced, so what you can do uh, what I do in ScreenFlow is I just expand this out and it expands my timeline. Now I can see a little bit better where it needs to be and I'll drag this over so that my hand claps sync up again. Okay, now listen. Okay, that's pretty close. All right. So what I'm going to do now is take this audio and this came from my video camera. This is the audio that my video camera captured, and I'm going to delete that, okay? And then I'm going to take the audio I got from my H4N Pro, which is much better. I'll move that up, and now you can see I clapped my hands, and then I was goofing around here, getting situated, so on and so forth. And uh, right about, let's see where I start talking. Whoops, I had a yawn to get in there. Okay, and here's where I started talking right here. Okay, now let's see if after doing the hand clap and syncing this up, if the words in the video seem to go together. Welcome, Mike McMillan here from my Info Product Earnings channel. And see, now they're all synced up. So what I would do then is move my scrubber bar to about this point right here, and I'll highlight both of these clips, okay? Both the audio down here and the video up here. Now in ScreenFlow, if I hit T, that cuts the clips right there. And I'll hit Delete and take the part where I yawned and did everything else out of there. And then I'll move this, I'll slide this all the way back to the beginning of my video. Okay, and uh, we're getting close uh, right about there. This is the beginning of my video then, right here. Now, let's again just see how this syncs up. Welcome, Mike McFillin here from my Info Product Earnings channel. And today what I want to do is... Okay, so you can see that what's going on right here, the video and the audio are all synced up, and that's something that you would have to do 
in order to make you know the audio and video sync up like this. And the simplest way to do this is with a hand clap, like I just showed you. So that's how you can do that. Just clap your hands and uh, separate the audio from the video that you recorded from your camera. And then take your remote audio recording device, whatever it may be, and, uh, and use a hand clap to sync it up. And that'll work out very nicely for you. Okay? All right. Well, this got a little longer than I wanted it to be. But listen, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, if you get a chance, well, subscribe and, uh, and uh, stick with me. I'll, I have a new video at least once a week. And uh, stop by and check them out. So thanks again. My very best wishes. As always, I, I wish you tremendous success in all you do online and especially with your YouTube videos. Okay, thank you.